Samuel, nein, nein, nein. Ich bin nicht einverstanden. Well, you may not be, but I still think the 21 NE is better. No, the 21 Classic is definitely a better fit. I think it's, it's, a, it's a better fit. I think it's a better fit. It's better. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Carl and Samuel here at Escape Trader. We're just having a bit of a conversation about the 21s, the Escape 21s, and really which one is a better fit. And so we're having a bit of a debate, and we thought maybe we'd, we'd bring you along on this journey. So why don't we start off, you know what, I think we need to have a walk through these trailers. Sure. I'm gonna take a walk through the 21 Classic, we'll get Samuel to take a walk through the 21 NE. Let's come back at the end. Yeah. And then maybe we'll score this up on a table, mm -hmm. and then we'll start to see which one is the better fit. Let's go take a look at the 21 Classic. Okay, here we go, we're in the Escape 21 Classic. This is certainly my favorite trailer, especially for full-time RVing. North-South bed, really, really nice. Nice long bed, plenty of space. I mean, I can fit, I fit all the way up on this bed. My head's still not touching anywhere, like we're this far away from touching the top, from the top of it. So lots and lots of storage. I love having these speakers up here. Gives me some nice music coming down and sometimes we even put on white noise if we want to really get to sleep and things are a little loud outside. Works really well for us. Don't have to go too far at night to jump into the washroom. This is the longest washroom that we have in our, um, in our trailers. It's absolutely perfect, it's a great space saver. Works really, really well. It's a full fiberglass tub in there, right? So there's no worry about it leaking. You can fill that with water jump into it and try and use it as a tub, <laughs> potentially, but no, not really. Kitchen space, wonderful amount of kitchen space in this trailer, it really is long, and even when I add in my kitchen countertop extension into it, I've got so much preparation space. Now, even if there's only two people that you're, you're cooking for, but it gives you the opportunity to have plenty of vegetables and plenty of meats all laid out, prepped up, ready to go onto this really nice flush mount tree burner, cooktop with oven, and even some very pretty blue accent lighting. Lots and lots of storage in this trailer. Like I said, I think this is the best trailer for full-time RVing, but if we can get a shot, we'll see all along this wall is storage, upper cabinetry storage, and it is deep, exceptionally well-constructed. Look at that, that is such a beautifully built trailer. Lots more storage. I mean, look at this. Look how strong and sturdy all of this is in place. You know, when you're driving down the road, take a lot of bumps. This trailer takes a lot of knocks, right? To have a strong, well-built and sturdy interior is just absolutely critical for the longevity and reliability of this trailer. That's why I think this is really good for a long time RVing. Of course, when we finished all our cooking, then finally we have the dinette space. A dinette space for sitting, relaxing, and eating. In the Escape trailer, of course, it comes with various types of mounting systems or table mounting systems. I just love it. So that's what I think. And Samuel's gonna have a hard job convincing me otherwise. But I think this is still the best full-time RV travel trailer on the market. Now let's see what Samuel's got to say. So here I am in the 21NE. I love this dinette. It comes standard as a u-shaped dinette and you see you can sit up to six people here so you can entertain or you have your family around large table um, and also quite a bit of storage underneath that comes with that larger dinette a couple of modifications that are possible in such a large dinette like we can put a bench seat in here as well if you'd like to have even more seating area towards the front of the trailer um, and then we have the modifications on the that come with a U-shape such as a beautiful, beautiful swivel table. Okay, so we come up here, we go over to the bathroom, which is in the center of the unit. Beautiful wet bath right here. And then moving over to the kitchen. The kitchen has plenty of space, so with that we have the opportunity to modify the stove area. So here we have the three burner with a convection microwave, but we would also have enough space to put in a nice three burner with oven right here, plus have some countertop and our sinks. 
And then the last part is the bed. So the bed is nice and spacious. So I have plenty of space really in all directions here. And uh, it is, it is uh, nice and large. Overall, it's a crawl over bed. So whoever sleeps on the inside sort of crawls over the person here or one of our customers said makes the ninja move basically moves over the other person. So that may be a, something to get used to, especially if you get up at night and maybe wake up the other person, but you do get plenty of space in the bed. All right, that completes the 21 NE. Okay, and we're back. Now, Samuel, I think you had some really compelling reasons in the 21 NE that you know, maybe makes it a better fit. Yeah. So. Uh, but I'm still not, I'm not, I don't know that I'm quite there. I, I think we, we need to take this and maybe list out some of the key features that make this fit work. Um, let's go through and score it. Sure thing. And see where we're at, okay? Bed orientation. Well, the 21 Classic, we got that north-south bed, right? In it versus the, you know, somewhat ninja-based crawl-over bed that you have in the, in the back of the 21 NE. Although the 21 NE is a very large bed, but I think orientation-wise, yeah, I'll give you that one. 21 Classic, I agree. so yeah. we'll, give that, uh, we'll give that a point, one point. And you get a, a zero then on this one. Okay, then okay. in terms of bed size, it well, is seven inches wider yeah. on the 21NE. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd say this is scoring for the 21NE on the actual size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for people who like to maybe sleep a little more diagonal in the bed, or if you have a lot of small people coming yeah. into the bed, I'm talking kids and animals and the like, then the 21NE is a nice size bed. So we'll, we'll, I'll agree, um, it is definitely a, a larger bed. The dinette size, 21NE. It's huge. It's, it's absolutely just, huge. It's just incredible. You can sit people, you can sleep people on that dinette yeah. bed. Yeah. Love that table size. So I'd say that's a clear win for the 21NE. Yeah. That, that dinette works, especially when we, especially, I really like when you put the swing arm table yeah. into the dinette on the 21NE. Just the flexibility, the maneuverability we have with it. Plus, something that people have never really thought about in the, in the um, with the swing arm table, is that, and, I, and you've, you've done it here, where you, you can slide the bed, the table right around and lock it almost in place. Yeah. So, you know, if you're working or you're working on a laptop, which I've done plenty of times, obviously, in the 21NE, it becomes a very comfortable experience to use it. So dinette size, we're talking about dinette size. Um, we'll, we'll move that to the 21, 21 NE, being that it's a bigger dinette. But the, the dinette in the, you go bench seat dinette in the 21 Classic, totally fine. Like more than enough for two people, more than enough. Kitchen. Now, I love cooking, I love eating, as you know. 21 Classic kitchen, I think works really well. Yeah. yeah particularly if you're going to be a full timer, right? You just want that little yeah. bit more, little bit more space. So we'll go on the terms of kitchen size. We'll move that to the 21 NE. The black tank sizes and black tank. So black tank in the 21 Classic is larger than black tank in the 21 NE. Correct. Right. Yes. So for extended range, right? If you're using the washroom a lot. Right, then the 21 Classic Black Tank is larger and will get that extra point. Mm -hmm. Sleeping space. So sleeping space, that looks at the kind of the dinette area itself. Yeah. I would, I would definitely score for the 21NE. Yeah. You get the cotton the 21NE, mm -hmm. which you do not get in the Classic. So, Correct. you yeah. know, yeah, that would work really well yeah. for you. So I'd say from a sleeping space capacity, 21NE, 21 and he um, definitely has more. On yeah. it. So we'll go, we'll go for that. Full timing, you know, full timing isn't going to be you with the five, yeah. you know, you and, the, and your wife with the five kids. So it's really going to be two people. And that's really where this 21 Classic fits much better. So yeah. full timing will take the, uh, we kind of, uh, we can agree on that. It's great that we're coming to agreement on a lot of these things. We this, do. This didn't start off so well. Family fun? Well, family fun, I'm thinking again, being able to entertain yeah. large dinette. To me, that is the 21NE. And something else that we didn't mention yet, mm. of course, the 21NE, 
comes with the option that you can, in, in our floor plan two, yeah. right? So from a family fund perspective, it enables you to set up both ends as dinettes. Correct, yeah. Right? So we can take out the permanent bed in the rear, turn that into an, another enormous dinette, mm -hmm. which then can obviously fold down and turn into a bed in the evening. So if you're a large family, you're going out for family fun weekends, it works just fine. Correct. All right, to yeah. set them up. So, so it, has, it does have that extra floor plan, which makes the 21NE perhaps a little bit more family fun oriented in that way. Time to score up. I think we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll call it there. So what have we ended up with? We've ended up at one, two, three, four for the... Classic. Classic. And one, two, three, four. Four for this. So now, it's I, a tie. I guess there's something that we, we, we kind of missed out on when we started our debate. And there really was, what is the fit that we're talking about? Now, the fit that I'm talking about is full timing. Yeah. The fit that you're talking about it's people, family, larger groups. Family, larger groups, more, yeah. maybe shorter duration trips mm -hmm. with a larger number of people. Yeah. So from a fit perspective, 21NE works for you. For me, the 21 Classic works. Yeah. I don't think there's a tiebreaker in this. Well, maybe there is a tiebreaker in this, but really at the end of the day, the tiebreaker is you because at the end of the day, the escape trailer is built for you.